it turns out that one of the biggest culprits of a lackluster complexion is stress. I feel like everything goes back to that word, stress. And these days, honestly, who isn't stressed out? So today, we're revealing how stress can mess with your skin and how you can start to fix it starting right now. Okay, so here to help us is renowned dermatologist. I actually am lucky enough to go to her. She is my hero because she's also a psychiatrist. So we are talking about a lot of different things that come together with great purpose with her. And she is just everything. She's here. It's Dr. Amy Wexler. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, Dr. Wexler, I always talk about how beauty, for me, really is an inside job. And I don't care what you look like on the outside, if you are stressed, if you are toxic inside, if you are miserable, if you are angry, all of these things come out and a smile is better than any lipstick you're ever gonna buy, period. You are really connecting something that I think is so inextricably linked. Thank you, they are, because the mind, the brain, and the skin are formed from the same layer of cells. So they have all these interconnections and it works in both ways. And so when we're stressed, you can see it on our skin. There's a stress hormone called cortisol. Mm. It's, not a, it's not a good molecule because it does a lot of bad things to the skin. Increases inflammation, which can cause acne. Also breaks down collagen. So when someone says, I just got this wrinkle, they're you know, really stressed out and it could age you pretty quickly. It also causes the skin's barrier function not to work as well to make our skin more sensitive. So it causes a lot of bad things, but if you can break the stress cycle, it can undo all of that. Okay, that is great. And we have some VFFs here with their questions. And Crystal is here with her first question. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. For as long as I can remember, I've struggled with dry skin, patches on my neck, my legs, my arms, basically everywhere. And with COVID, I've been super, super stressed. I've literally tried everything. What can I do? So the stress piece, the problem is, when we're stressed out, the skin's barrier doesn't work as well. It gets leaky and leaks water, and so our skin gets more dry. So you should try to do things during the day, I don't know what your work schedule's like, to get off of Zoom and get outside, for example, because getting outside in nature and getting a little vitamin G for green really lowers cortisol levels. There's other ways to do that too. And then there's a good skin um, solution, which is safflower oil. I know that sounds silly. The skin makes a natural moist moisturizer called linoleic acid. And when our skin's too dry, it makes less of it. So there are two oils that are linoleic acid rich. Olive oil, but if you put that in your skin, you'll smell like a salad. <laughs> and safflower oil, which is odorless, essentially colorless, and you can get it at any supermarket for like under $10. And you just take a little bit, Drew, let's try it, and rub it on your skin after your shower when the skin acts kind of like a sponge to soak it in and you'll be amazed at what it does. Crystal, uh, what do you think of this? And also, I'm gonna send you a bunch of safflower oil um, after the show, of nice. course, um, from me and Dr. Amy. I've never used safflower oil, but I'm looking forward to trying for sure. I just used a little and my hands are completely alive and I am not worried about getting other things greasy. This is amazing. Good. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. By the way, I would like to circle back with you and ask you how that's going, okay? Oh, totally. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank oh, you, I'll ladies. See you soon. Okay. Next, let's talk about breakouts because so many people have been complaining about mask knee. I think it's um, you're on mute and I have mask knee are the two quotes <laughs> of the last year cycle. It really is. And yes. the you're on mute is cute and funny. Um, the mask is not. Why are we all going through this new thing that wasn't there before? I'm glad you asked me that because everyone is just assuming the masks are causing acne. But why are we wearing masks? Because we're in the middle of a pandemic and everyone is stressed out. I don't think the mask itself is causing acne. I think it's the stress. There hasn't been a study showing, oh, masks cause acne at all. You know, when I used to work in the hospital, we wore masks in the OR all the time. No one ever complained about breaking out under their mask, never. So what do we do? First of all, just know that this is an issue, right? Just to be more mindful and figure out, okay, maybe 
I'm extremely stressed right now. Look at your sleep patterns. Look at ways that you can lower your stress level. That's one, and that's free, right? Just to take some time and think about yourself and be mindful. And then there are a bunch of over-the-counter solutions for acne. Salicylic acid is great as a wash or a spot treatment. Benzoyl peroxide is good as a wash. So there are lots of things to try. Some people try too many things, though, and get irritated. So I say two over-the-counter products maximum. Okay, so we'll have all of these listed on our website. Okay, finally, Adina is here with her skin question. Hi, Adina, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? I like your flower. <laughs> Thank you, it's summer, right? <laughs> it is. Um, Adina, what's your question for Dr. Amy? Well, this past year, my skin has been really sensitive. I'm sitting on Zoom all the time. I can see the red blotchiness and it's, it's just not, I'm, I'm not happy with how my skin looks. What can I do? I get it, Dina. I also have sensitive skin, Drew also. And <laughs> you have to be really careful. Products you use on your skin should be fragrance-free and hypoallergenic. If you're trying a new product, I say do a test spot, like for three nights in a row right in front of your ear, because then if you have a little rash, it's okay, but your whole face yeah. isn't reacting. <laughs> I've always loved tea. And I actually created a cream for sensitive skin with Chanel that has silver needle white tea in it, which has the highest concentration of antioxidants, really soothing for the skin. I also love to drink tea. It lowers cortisol levels and relaxes you. So we have some silver needle white tea here. And it's, it's really awesome to put on your skin and to drink. I don't know why that everybody who is in skin is not also in the mental game because my goodness, they're just so hand in hand. Anyway, I'm just so glad that you came here and I hope <laughs> this is you. the first of many because we are all looking for a solution, pun intended. We really are. And tips and tricks like this can be real game changers to our mental space because we can clear up problems. So thank you, Dr. Okay. Amy. You're welcome, thanks for having me. I know I me. call you all the time when I have a problem. Anytime. Okay, <laughs> here and here. Make sure to check out Dr. Amy's amazing podcast that she hosts with her own daughter, Zoe, am I embarrassing you? My daughters, <laughs> Olive and Frankie, who yes. you know, um, they would say yes. <laughs> what Zoe about says, Zoe? Oh, Zoe says yes too, though she's older now, so I embarrass her less, which is lovely. Oh, that's good, and I'm always telling my daughters, <laughs> I live to embarrass you. <laughs>